Hello, today we will be solving question number 14 from the Priyadimo 2017 question paper. So in this question it has been said that suppose x is a positive real number such that fractional part of x, greatest integer of x and x are in geometric progression. In that case we need to find out the least positive integer n such that x to the power n is less than is greater than 100. So this is what we need to find out. So now it has been given that fractional part of x, greatest integer part of x and I, x are in geometric progression. So we will take that fractional part of x, greatest integer of x and x are represented by a upon r, a and a r. Okay. So now we know that x is basically equal to greatest integer of x plus fractional part of x. So that implies that a r is equal to a r is equal to a plus a by r so that implies that we have r is equal to 1 plus 1 by r and that implies that r square is equal to r plus 1 and that implies that we have r square minus r minus 1 equal to 0 so upon solving for the value of r we get that r is equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus 4 by 2 which is equal to 1 plus minus root over 5 by 2 now if we have if we take a equal r is equal to 1 minus root over 5 by 2 so that is basically a negative number but we know that x is a positive number so we neglect that number and we are ultimately left with r is equal to 1 plus root over 5 by 2 since r is greater than 0 and that implies that the number a is also greater than 0 so that is what we know so this is the case so therefore we have so therefore we have fractional part of x will be given by a by r which is equal to twice a upon 1 plus root over 5 okay and now we know the fractional part of x is always lying between 0 and 1 so that implies that twice a upon 1 plus root 5 is less than 1 and greater than 0 so that implies if we take only this part so that will imply us that twice a upon 1 plus root 5 is less than 1 and that is because and that will imply that a is less than 1 plus root 5 by 2 now root 5 is basically we can say 2.2 or something like that okay 2.2 or 2 something like this so But it is always less than 3. That is for sure. That is what we know for sure. Or even whatever. You can say. So this will be 2 point something. 2 point something plus 1. That will be 3 point something. The 3 point something divided by 2 will be always 1 point, um, 1 point something. It will be always less than 2. 1 point something. Less than 2. So A is always less than 2. A is always less than 2 and we know that A is basically an integer since now this is an integer why is this an integer since we have taken that A is equal to greatest integer of x which is always an integer so we have A is always an integer so that implies that A is equal to 1 that implies that A is equal to 1 so we have so therefore we had x is equal to A R so a r is basically we get this will be equal to 1 into r which is basically 1 plus root over 5 by 2 so this is the value of x okay now it has been given now it has been given that x to the power n is less than greater than 100 so that implies that 1 plus root over 5 by 2 to the power n is less is greater than 100 so now if we take log r, uh, log with respect to the base 10 so that implies n log of 1 plus root 5 by 2 to the base 10 is greater than log of 100 to the base 10 is basically equal to 2 so that implies that n is greater than 2 upon log of 1 plus root 5 by 10 okay 1 plus root 5 by 10 so this is what we are getting and ultimately if we 
uh, 1 plus root 5 by 2 so this is what we are getting so now if we now find out the value of n so this will lead us that n will be greater than n.5 9.5 since but we know that n is basically a positive integer so that implies that n will be equal to 10 and minimum is equal to 10 so this is the answer that we are looking for if you have any doubt regarding this video regarding the procedure that i have followed then you can comment in the comment section below and we will try to get back to you thank you very much